Mr. President, I don't have anything to report, but I do have a couple of requests. And um, I would like to first commend, again, um, Ms. Drobny for her excellent presentation on school finance. I thought that was very clear and understandable. I really appreciate that. But the reason that um, I asked the question I did about the carry forward and the rainy day funds is because I have a request that I would like to have on the next board agenda. Um, it's something that when I first joined this board and heard about this situation, I thought it was uh, not a good policy stance that the district had taken in this regard. And I speak about our failure to provide a textbook for every one of our students. provide a textbook for every student in math classes, and I would assume that there are probably other classes where that is true as well. And I would like to request um, that the next board meeting we have this on an agenda so that the board can take a position on this, and I would hope the position would be that as we build next year's budget, we, we put the money in that budget to buy a textbook for every one of our students. We're about to um, go into a, a resolution on the DREAM Act where we're talking about um, providing an opportunity for all students to gain a higher education and, and other things that, that will come from that. And we are not providing those students, in my opinion, with the resources they need to get to do the job that they need, which is to have this textbook. That's a very, very simple item I think that we need to put in place. So um, I would hope that we would find those funds somewhere. Um, I, think it's, I think it's imperative that we do. So I would like to have that on the agenda for next month. That's one request. Um, I would also like to have a presentation made to the board um, on dropout rates and graduation rates. I know that um, we can cite statistics which say we've taken our <coughs> dropout rate from 17% to 5%, but there are lots of ways to do that. That doesn't necessarily mean that we have kept more students in Phoenix Union classrooms. Um, it could mean that students have left our classrooms and we have found a way to document where they went, therefore we no longer have to count them as a dropout, but we have no idea if those students ever completed their education because they, once they leave our grounds, no longer our responsibility. So I think the claim that we've <coughs> reduced our dropout rate is a lot more complicated than what it would appear on the surface. So before we pat ourselves on the back and take a lot of uh, kudos, from the press and other places about how well we've done in that regard. I'd like to really know that we've done a good job in that regard, and I'm not convinced we have. Pushing kids out the door to some other school is not necessarily really reducing our dropout rate, and I'd like to know more about that topic, as well as more about the topic of <coughs> our uh, graduation rate. So, Mr. President, if you can have those items on the agenda as well, I think that's very important for us. Absolutely.